Hi there, this is Mike from Sabron, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Rocket XTRMQ dual SSD enclosures with Windows using our Sabron RAID Assistant. So let's just jump into it. So once you have connected up your SSD to power and to your PC and made sure to turn it on, we want to head to File Explorer because if you have used our tool-free enclosure and installed your own SSDs, we want to make sure that the SSDs are showing up in the PC. So we want to head to this PC just over here, then under devices and drives, we should see our SSDs. However, in this example, which I've done obviously on purpose, we do not see the SSDs. So if this is what you're finding is, is that if there's only one drive or none of the drives are showing up, uh, then you want to head over to the start icon, right click and then click on device management. Now in this new window, we'll be able to see our main disk, but also can we see disk one and disk two says they are unallocated. So this means that we need to create a simple volume for both of these to show up. So we want to right click the first one, create a new simple volume, then click on next, then click next again, and then next again, and then we want to firstly label this SSD1 just so it's nice and easy and then click next and then finish. And that's now created SSD1. Now we want to create SSD2. So we'll create a new simple volume. And there you go. We now have both SSDs showing up. So if we go back to File Explorer and there you go, we have SSD1 and SSD showing up. That's absolutely brilliant. Next up, you want to download our Sabrent RAID Assistant and install it. There are three different types of RAID that you can create. You can create a RAID 0, RAID 1 or sequential. If speed is your goal, then RAID 0 is the option for you as this will maximize the performance of both drives. What this will do is it will split the data evenly across two of the disks without creating any parity information. So what this means is that it cannot be mirrored or extended and it is not fault tolerant. If you are looking for a more data safe option, then RAID 1 could be great for you as it's fault tolerant because it maintains a copy of the same data on both disks. The only downside with this is that storage space is halved because it's copying one SSD onto the other. Now, read performance and reliability is going to be much better with RAID 1 than any of the other two options. And the last option is sequential. Now this is not a type of RAID but it what it does is it groups the disk together for the purpose of creating a larger disk. So what happens is it will write the data onto the first disk and when that first disk is full it will then start write, writing data to the second disk. Now this cannot be mirrored and again it's not fault tolerant. So now that I've explained all of the options what you want to do is, is select the option that's right for you. So in this case for this example we'll use RAID 1. Then then we'll select next. So now we should see both of our SSDs showing up here. So what we want to do is, is we want to check the tick boxes next to both of the SSDs. And we're going to click next. Then we want to assign it a letter. And then this is the assigned drive name. So we'll leave it like that. We'll press next. Double check all the information just over here and then click RAID now. Now just remember that all your data on both the disks will be erased when proceeding. So make sure that any valuable data is taken off of the drive and stored somewhere else. Once you're happy with that, just press yes. And there we have it. We now have the XTRM drive all set up, ready to just store your files in. Now, in order to achieve the maximum performance using Thunderbolt storage devices, I recommend that you go over to the start menu, right click and head to device manager. Now under the disk drives option, you want to expand that and then select your SSD that you have, right click and click on properties. Now go under policies and make sure that you have better performance checked and then enable cache writing on this device. So make sure you have both of those checked as this will get the best performance for your SSD drive. So that's how to set up the dual SSD enclosures in Windows with our Sabron RAID Assistant. 
How easy did we make that for you guys? You can set these things up any way you like for your workflow. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Anyway, until the next video, look after yourselves. Bye.